Hello everybody, what's up, Captain Turbo here, and I apologize for cutting off like that during the last part. Uh, I basically didn't keep a track of the timer, unfortunately, and kind of led to me just starting a topic of conversation when the part was uh, pretty much over, so <laughs> I just need to learn to keep a... I don't think I'm doing post-commentary like this. Uh, but yeah, this is the f uh, this is the actual um, Breakman final stage. Uh, pretty easy, actually, overall. Uh, basically, just keep your buster out. Uh, these yellow bricks basically act sort of like a, um, a, uh, the thing holding the castle together, like the structure, the, uh, the main balance of the building. Uh, that last one you won't get crushed with, with so you can get rid of all of them. Uh, but as soon as you go for this door, this right here was the main reason I actually decided to do this post-commentary was this boss. I had so many problems trying to beat him. Uh, just in practice that I was like, no, I'm not gonna be able to do this live. I actually ended up doing pretty well with it live, but uh, Big surprise here. Not the real break man There's the real break man As you can see another enemy that looks very similar to the previous ones we took on All right, so I think I got a little bit confused earlier. I believe this was yeah This is the one who actually lets loose these uh, laser beams. It's essentially the previous boss with a slight variation as I already mentioned, but yeah, I got a little bit confused, I apologize about that. Um, he's gonna let loose a couple of uh, shots like that, he's then gonna uh, occasionally let loose his wall lasers, whatever you want to call them, his shield, whatever. Uh, the pattern isn't too bad if he just does the, um, if he just do the wall thing, the problem is these shots can be difficult to avoid. Uh, you're also gonna only have time for one charge shot as well, unless you're really really good at the game, obviously. Uh, to be fair, this boss can be done without having to use an E-Tank. I think I may have used one for this fight, I can't really remember. But yeah, I had a lot of problems with this uh, enemy. Apparently, uh, the Power Stone was the weapon of choice here, from what I can remember, but... I just find it a lot easier to use the Mega Buster overall and just use Charge Shot. I don't know if it was designed that way or... Well, the Power Stone's one of the worst fucking weapons in the entire Mega Man series, so... The way it works. Uh, you can also slide under the bullets, obviously. I just prefer jumping. Uh, I just think, fine, I have more control that way. But the boss will be beaten. But yeah, that is essentially the main reason. That guy was the main reason I decided to do this post. Overall, it actually ended up being a lot easier for this. But we've actually got a little bit of text. You've done well, Mega Man. I never expected you to defeat my powerful Dogman robot. Until now, I have managed to frame Proto Man for my crimes, but now the real Proto Man has appeared and spoiled my plan. Dr. Light is a captive in, the, in my laboratory. Come if you dare! <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, pretty much. Get this annoying stuff. Well, actually, it's not that annoying. It's not like in Mega Man 2 or whatever. Or even Mega Man 1. But those fucking eyebrows, The Rock would be really fucking proud of those. So, yeah, obviously, the Proto Man stages were actually a ruse. He's not the main villain for this game. Uh, Dr. Wily is the main villain, you know. Big fucking surprise. Uh, but here we go. Got a couple more stages to do. Um. I think, did I find the, I think I found the Dr. Wily stages is actually a bit easier than the, uh, the Proto Man stages, or the Dark Man stages, let's call it, because that's who it was, Dark Man. Uh, this first section here, just be careful, obviously it's falling by the spikes on the walls and stuff like that. As soon as you get to this section, uh, just veer off to the right and you'll be fine. I did suffer a death there just because I didn't go right far enough. I actually know I did have a couple trouble with some of these stages, but I believe overall I still found the... Dark message is a bit harder, if I recall. Uh, don't let this room intimidate you. Most of the things here will not attack straight away, so you've got plenty of time to charge up. Plus, they move pretty slowly. And if you don't go near the turrets, then they're not going to shoot you, so you don't have much to worry about in that respect. As you can see here, I'm doing alright though. I've got like four E-Tanks. I've got one uh, ammo tank, which... I think he's brand new to the series at this point. Did they, did they, was there one in Mega Man 4? If not, I'll explain what it is. The M tank, you don't get many of. In fact, I think you only get one or two. Uh, basically, they replenish all of your weapon energy. Uh, not just for one weapon either, they replenish everything. Um, 
Uh, this room here, don't um, don't jump if you can avoid it. Obviously, you'll have to jump out of this section here. Uh, just do a tiny jump, like just tap the jump button. Don't keep your finger on it any longer than the tapping takes. Uh, these guys don't deal much damage. You should just take the hit and get past them. Plus, you you can do some farming here if you really want to, which I actually think I ended up doing here. I was think was I aiming for something here? Health or ammo? Yeah, it must have been health because I think I'm moving on at this point. So yeah, uh, the M tank, pretty useful actually, especially when it comes to the Robot Master rematches, if you're going to use it for that. Oh, this section, uh, be prepared probably for some bad editing because I think I edited out quite a few deaths here. Or at least in this general section. This first part isn't actually that hard. You might get hit, but like you see there, but you can pretty much recover. Uh, this jump here uh, cost me a death because I couldn't make it up top, which is why I used Rush. Of course, using Rush Jet here is always a good idea. I think I may have suffered another death, which is why I'm now using Rush Jet. Alright, so we have one of these sections again. I think there was one of these in Mega Man 4 as well. Um, the crush is on top. Be careful of this part here because that part did actually kill me off screen. Uh, I didn't realize it was that far down. Uh, but yeah, uh, this, I'm not really sure what would be the best weapon to use here to uh, think. Oh, there's a death. I didn't realize how far that actually went. Um, But yeah, uh, just use your Mega Buster, take your time, and you will get through it eventually. As I said, I'm not really sure what would be a good weapon to use to get rid of those a lot quicker, because uh, the thing with Mega Man 5 is I can't really think of any weapons that shoot that quickly. Yeah, having a couple issues right here. Yeah, but apparently you can't make the jump. That was actually the first time I managed to pull off the jump without the uh, aid of Rush, so... Also, in case you're wondering, I have no fucking clue when I'm going to move to Mega Man 6. I'll probably go more into that at a later, uh, later point. Mm, the charge kick, I suppose, wouldn't be a bad selection here for these um, for these um, um, bricks uh, to get rid of. But I didn't actually test it. I pretty much stuck with the Mega Buster. And in case you're ever wondering, I have never used like a turbo controller for the. Um, the Mega Man Let's Plays, I've always just basically tapped buttons really, really fast. I've, I kind of don't want to ever use a um, turbo controller for Let's Plays and stuff, unless it was necessary for like fucking, uh, unless it was absolutely necessary. You know, so I prefer just to do this plain vanilla type uh, gameplay, but uh, yeah, I, I just, as I was saying, I just generally don't use a turbo controller for this sort of shit, so. And unfortunately, this section goes on uh, probably overstays its welcome by quite a bit. I'm trying to etch my way closer here. Yeah, this is probably the worst part of this section here. I don't know how I managed to pull that off, but I'll take it. There we go. Yeah, so as soon as you get to that section, you'll be fine. But yeah, this is where I actually suffered a couple deaths. And unfortunately, the um, the checkpoint is right at the beginning with those rotating things. Where you saw me using the rush jet and stuff. So uh, yeah, you have to go through all that if you die at any point past, I believe, that section. So yeah, I, I made a save state in the moment, I believe. At least I think I did. Unfortunately, these guys are kind of kicking my ass right now. So... Um, And I think at this point I'm just basically just looking for a health unit or a health pickup or something. As I said, I can probably still tank one more hit at this point, but I didn't want to risk it, so I can probably tank at least two now. It looks like there's a second section behind there, doesn't it? Like there's an alternate path or something like that. I don't think there is. If there's at least, I don't know about it, so it kind of sucks, but... Uh, again, this section here, nothing really to worry about. Just take your time. Uh, these things move pretty slow, and the turrets will be taken down with a couple shots, so. Got another boss fight coming up right now. I think I remember which one this is, actually. Yeah, this guy's actually not that hard. It's just, well, he's not easy, but he's also not that difficult. Basically, what you want to do is you want to shoot uh, his bottom platform. 
and then shoot the top platform on, on its way back and you will be able to start hitting him. Now I believe his weakness is the crystal thing or the ice thing, whatever. Um, the problem is uh, the amount of time it's going to take to switch, you may as well just keep using the Mega Buster. Now as you saw there, you can sort of glitch your way onto the top one if you're um, fast enough. But uh, unfortunately the boss fight is a little bit tricky just purely on the fact of the uh, the weaponry or wherever it is he's shooting. But this is the basic pattern. Uh, well, try and hit the thing unlike I did. Jump on that, jump on that one, and there you go. Pretty much all you need to do here, this boss can take a while. Uh, here's the thing, this is one of those that isn't fun to watch, but it is quite a lot of fun to play. But yeah, you need, basically just need to hit his head. Nothing else will work. I also don't know if these uh, enemies that he's letting loose actually drop ammo. I don't think they do. They don't drop ammo or health. So basically you could kill a thousand of them and I don't think you're going to uh, you get, you get a single pickup from it. So unfortunately it's just basically doing this for the next couple minutes. But yeah, as you can see here, having a couple of issues here and there, uh, mainly just having problems with the things that he's dropping more than anything else. But make sure you give yourself time to charge up. I'm surprising that I managed to get through that one there. As uh, I believe his weakness is the ice weapon. I said, though I'm not messing around with that. Um, just purely for the fact that, as I said, you're not going to have time to really switch and shoot properly. It's going to be a pain in the ass. So yeah, Mega Buster this as best you can. As you can see, if you if you're if you're already uh, in your invincibility frames, it's not a bad idea to just jump up onto the top one if you can. You can glitch through the top of you've seen me do a couple times. And to be honest, I would recommend using an E tank if you've got them at this point. As I said, the fight itself is actually pretty easy, it's just long and tedious. And that one was a little bit unfair in the middle, but whatever. And unfortunately, these things are coming out a lot faster than I can react. Ah, I did it. I kind of like the idea of this boss though. This is very Mega Man 1 esque. I don't think I use two E tanks. I'd be surprised if I have to. Your best time to shoot really is just after, uh, just before those things hit the pink part of the ground. At least that's what I can tell from the timing anyway. But as I said, playing it and watching it back is two different things, obviously. You know. But one more shot. There you go. Boss beat Not too bad, could have gone a lot better, but I'll take it. That is one goofy looking skull on the front of his castle, by the way. And yeah, by the way, as always guys, this is the first time I'm hearing some of this soundtrack, or at least the first time I'm paying attention to it. Didn't record this section with um, the headphones on, obviously, so there you go. Anyway, another Wily stage here. I'm not remembering much about this one yet. Again, you wouldn't believe I only recorded this a week ago. I mean, I couldn't understand if it was like six months ago, but it wasn't. Oh, this jump here can be a little bit fidgety. Yeah, just basically get to the furthest you can to the um, the platform and then just jump across. Uh, don't worry, uh, the water fits means you'll be able to jump up and get that. They got the, uh, the mechanics here with their little snorkel. Kind of cute. As always, make sure you take um, full um, advantage of the water physics in this game. Just jump straight across like that, otherwise you're probably going to get hit and fall off into the deep abyss. Find Davy Jones's locker. Ah, damn it. You can actually make that jump, I did it, off I did it in practice once. I, I must admit though, I find these uh, placements of these enemies here a little bit dickish. In any other stage, these was, this would kill you. Obviously, because you're in water, you have a slight better chance because obviously the water physics. But it is a bit of a dick move still. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and now we have the ones that break up into uh, numerous smaller ones. 
because, you know, the Matangs weren't already annoying enough. Across here and deal with these guys. Again, I actually love these guys because they're so fucking easy to deal with. Ah, uh, here we got Jerry the fucking mouse doing his thing, running backwards and forwards. There's another one coming on the ground, I believe. Yep, there it is. There's two of them. Three? I don't remember that many. Right. Again, another decent place to grind if you need health or whatever. We got the damn cookie here. Uh, oh, actually, this might be the section I was thinking about earlier where I kept suffering death. Ah, yes, this was the guy. For some reason, this fucker cost me so fucking many headaches, and I don't know why. I think I've had this guy like three fucking times. And there's the first death. I hope that's the. Please tell me I edited and I just left the death in. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that guy calls me like three deaths, I think. I couldn't really figure out how to kill him, so I basically I had to save state right after killing the chicken. Yeah, I'm guessing the rest of this part is just this level now at this point. So I'm looking at the time here, because yeah, I'm actually keeping a clock. I'm actually keeping check of the time this time. And I, I've got the fucking aim of a stormtrooper. I swear to God. Let's take care of the chicken. Come on. I know the safe state's coming. I remember this one. Yeah, there it is. And some awkward edits in there, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Again, for some reason, doing little nitpicky, uh, well, nit nitpicks here and there with the saves, it tends to be harder with uh, VSDC, uh, I believe the software is called. Another one here, uh, yeah, pretty much just take, if you don't take a hit, just take a hit and get past him. Anyway, it's time for the boss. I'm not sure what boss it is, though. Let's find out, but apparently I'm gonna equip. Gyro attack? Maybe? What am I picking? Ooh, it's exciting. What's Turbo gonna pick? Yep, that gyro attack. Alright, this guy's actually pretty easy. He's gonna go left and right like this. Occasionally drop balls. As soon as his thing opens up at the side, you can actually hit him. Uh, you've actually got a decent amount of time here to do this, so... Uh, don't worry too much if you miss uh, occasionally. Uh, I took some damage there. He does actually deal out a decent amount of damage, but his, his pa actual pattern is fairly easy to remember. Uh, I actually would recommend using the Buster, if I'm going to be honest, over the Gyro attack. Basically move underneath him for a while, let the first couple of balls fall, and then just start waylaying into him like this. As you see, your basic attack does quite a de decent amount of damage anyway, so you know, don't bother wasting your gyro attack like I did to start with. Even basic pellets do, still do a be decent amount of damage, like one or two uh, pellets will do a unit or two of health for him, so... I'm not even sure what the fuck this thing's supposed to be. I mean, all of them look like robots. What is it? Is it a shoe horse or something? Horseshoe? I should say shoe horse. Horseshoe? I'm not really sure. I gotta get used to using the slide as well. Yeah, I use an E-Tank here. Probably, uh, I ended up wasting it to be honest, but um, I want to be more safe than sorry. But anyway guys, I've got about 30 seconds left. Um, I'm hoping you enjoyed this. Um, I will s see you with what will be the final part, I believe, coming up next. Um, obviously, I basically I didn't really have a good place to leave off, which is why I always start a level to finish the part. I know it's weird, but... Next level's coming up, I believe this is the Robot uh, Master rematch is coming up. So I'll see you for the next part, the final part, and thank you very much for watching everybody, but until then, have a good night and sayonara.